There's no oxygen? Okay. Well, no, no, like you don't have to worry about dying or nothing like that. There's no... None of that yet, so... I don't know if they ever will, or... Potentially, but... So, like, we're, like, impervious to space? Basically, we need, yes. We don't need space suits or nothing? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we don't. Okay. So I'm just gonna need to get out of my base here. So it's not a survival game, as per se. Oh, there's health, though. Not that hardcore, but yeah, you do have health and you can die if you get shot at or whatever. But the only thing that can shoot at you would be other spaceships or, or players, right? Yeah. So there's yeah. you know, there's no mobs. I know they're going to work on on creating entities that's kind of in the next major update. And you can even fly around. It's like, I'm gone. Yeah. Q and E is up and down. Is it? Yeah. So why do you need a spaceship? You just fly around. <laughs> Because you fly faster in a spaceship. Yeah. Okay, so Some rocks over here. Go over here. Oh, this is a giant rock over here. Wow. I'll put my base around this giant rock right here. Uh. <laughs> okay, well. <clears throat> so, hello, everybody. Welcome to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. It's Starvade here. And I have with us uh, your lush black echo. Hello. Yay. And I'm just flying over to where he is to with my ship because I'm going to redesign my ship and, and kind of explain the mechanics, I guess, a little bit of what I know. And, and whether it's right or wrong, who knows? <laughs> yep. Uh, I don't know nothing, so. Yeah. Um, I basically, I think the end key is how you spawn a new ship. Because you have a yeah. ship core in your inventory, I think. You also have a bunch of materials it gives you. Yeah, I yeah, see some blocks in my inventory. Yeah, to access the store, you can push the B key, right? And that kind of opens up an interface for the store. And you can kind of you browse through there. It looks... Yeah. yeah. At first, it was overwhelming, all this stuff, but... Well, I definitely, because I did the tutorial, but it didn't help. I just started to play it basically. Too much information. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So like, it almost needs to give you the tutorial as you play, like you know, give you little quest objectives. Do this or do see that, a ship or, coming. Uh, I don't know. From what direction? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know what direction. There is no direction. <laughs> I don't see no ship. Oh, uh, okay. Honestly, I, I, oh, I, there is. There yeah. you go. Something's coming now. Hey. The mon monstrosity's coming. <laughs> oh yeah, it's upside down. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it matters. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, let's get a bit closer here. What is it like a? Okay. Why is it like a cu cube? Well, because that's the spacing I need. I need to make it no larger than that cube, <laughs> right? Otherwise, it won't fit in my base. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, so I built this today in preparation for our oh, episode, okay. right? So, it wasn't here originally, but I needed to count and to measure my landing pads and stuff. So, you know, uh, the width I can't go any wider than this width because then I won't fit through the the one main door, and then the yeah, and then the length of it is just inside the the one landing pad and then the height is important too because if it gets higher than that then it's going to hit the doors as they close so then that's no good either yeah <laughs> so that's my restriction <laughs> to my build um and so basically ships are made up of components let's kind of i'm going to take away the armor pieces here uh let's go to build mode okay so um ships are built of i guess components so, obviously like you have uh, there's the different computers that are on the ships. Um, you know, there'll be like the salvage computer. There'll be a cannon computer. There's like beam computers, which I don't have. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting, just all the different pieces there are. And so there's a faction computer, which kind of you know allows or protects your ship against you know, other factions. It's yeah, it's I don't really understand the faction stuff, but I know the faction stuff is kind of like the guild stuff. So. Um, I'm, I'm just yeah. removing the armor plates here. Just gonna. So you know, this ship that I built is just you know, over the course of time I've you know, added to it, and you know, now it's just a time of of redesigning it. So 
But to build a new ship, I think you hit N to build a new ship, and it'll spawn a ship, the ship core that you have in your inventory, and then you'll be able to name it. Um, and then once you have a ship core, you can then you know, hop into it by you pressing R on it, and yeah. Uh, let's see here. I think I got. Oh no, I got. I got to take off this stuff too here. But basically, my ship is pretty simple in the fact that all it is, <laughs> it's, it's just these systems all bunched up together. From from salvage computers to cannon computers, I put a couple missile computers on there. I even tried to put some shield stuff on there, but that's yeah. Uh, I don't know the shield stuff. I don't really understand either. I think you need a lot more of them, and they take a lot of power. Um, yeah. But um, your power cores are designed kind of like. Um, I wonder how I can explain it. Let's see here. Because the ship, uh, my ship core is kind of like a cross, a big cross thing. It goes straight down the middle of the ship. Maybe I can take these away. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Okay, but um, yeah, okay. So I think it's pretty much exposed and has all its pieces there. So <clears throat> on my ship, I have basically the ship core is what you start with, and you build from that point, right? Um, and and so a ship basically needs your power reactors. Um, it it needs these capacitor these power capacitors. And then thrusters on a minimum for it to be a ship for it to move and do your stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And then, and after that, then you add more systems like you know these salvage, you know these green things are the salvage cannons, I guess, or salvage, um, yeah, cannons, I guess, or I don't know what to call it, but. <laughs> and then I've also in between them I have um, your regular cannon computers, so like you know the offensive weapons or salvage beams and the cannon computer or your cannon. Your units, um, those are, are of course all hooked in because everything has to be hooked into a controlling computer. So I think this green one on top of my core yeah, is a salvage computer exactly. So that you know, if you once you place objects, you have to. Well, anyways, I think you just need to make a ship. So um, if you mm -hmm. want, fly beside mine somewhere and push. I think N. I think N for new ship. Uh, no, that's not N. Uh, shoot. Uh, B. Oh, okay. Uh, I forgot already. <laughs> oh my <Sorry>. goodness! <laughs> um, I can't even use the, the, the J. There's like a J key you can use, and it kind of tells you, but it's not good enough. It doesn't tell me how to place a new. Jeez, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, since I built a new ship. Where are we? Screenshot. Oh, it doesn't really tell me, does it? Oh yeah, X. That's a stupid key. Okay, X to spawn a ship. You M to spawn a spaceship. Or a space station, sorry. So X for a ship, M for a space station. <laughs> when you hit the, the X, it'll come up with a box for you to name it, I guess. Whatever you want to name it. It'll usually come up with a with a randomized name of of its own. Okay, so so sorry, what do we? So you just want to hit X and then you want to name your ship because you start with a bunch of items, right? So is there a, on, is there key bindings here somewhere? Um. Well, there's. Goals. There are, yeah. Okay, so what am, sorry, what am I doing? <laughs> well, we want to spawn a ship, right? So we want to yeah. hit X. So. X. And it'll use up the core that you have in your inventory, I think, and then it'll ask you to okay. name it. This is basically where all creation happens from. Is this you spawn a ship and then you build it and then. That's kind of like how everything happens, except for bases, of course. Bases are just on the ground, on the planet. Oh, there we go. There's your core just appeared. Why is it doing that? Doing what? It's like rotating a bunch of different textures. 
Uh, well, for me, it seems okay. <laughs> it's like it looks like a ship core, right? Like no, not for me. It has it's a like little... rotating between like dirt and really? Wow! Oh yeah, a bunch of different things. Yeah. Huh? No, for me, it's the ship core with the uh, uh, the lights flashing around on it. Yeah, it looks it looks fine to me. Huh? <laughs> wow! That's funny. Relog? Okay. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so so what do I do now? Okay, well basically now you want to enter your ship core. You just go R on it, yeah. Now, yeah. there's two ways of, of, of moving between the ship core, right? So you're you're in it. You're, there's two modes. There's a build mode and a flight mode. Um, okay. A space bar is what you use to switch between the two. Okay. Alright, and then now when you're in the build mode, you can use your WASD key to move around, and then your Q and E to move up and down. Okay, um, <clears throat> and then of course if you're in flight mode, then you know you can use your mouse to kind of turn uh, to aim, I guess, or yeah. And then it's like uh, WASD, same idea, like uh, your gas pedal, right? Like W to go. You know, to increase acceleration, S to decrease acceleration, or to go backwards, and then uh, A and D. I think it's strafing left and right. Uh, Q and E is up and down, and then if I push and hold control and use the mouse, that's a rotation. Okay, um, but anyways, in the build mode, space back into the build mode. This is where it's kind of fun. If you go, mm -hmm. I uh, you can go into your inventory, which is I, I think, and. You can basically move a bunch of blocks onto your your toolbar, if you like. I don't know what you'd want to use, but um, like I think it gives you some hull pieces. Um, just, you probably have some power capacitors and probably some power reactor modules, maybe oh, some thrusters. Is the helmet? Should, should I be wearing the helmet? Or? <laughs> it doesn't it does, matter. It doesn't matter. No, no. <laughs> At oh, okay. this point in time, it doesn't matter. It's it's something neat, but okay. uh, until you actually need to have a reason to put it on. There's yeah. Um, so let's see here. Let me just yeah. So I have gray standard armor, and I have power actor module, thruster module, cannon computer, cannon barrel, salvage okay. computer, and salvage module. Okay. So let me fly over here. Okay, I'm going to do this too, I'm going to go X for new ship, um, uh, let's do that, there we go. There's a healing beam. Okay, so I built a core as well, Power um, supply. I'm not sure if you can see my little core I built, but I'm going to build it too. It's, cause it's easier to explain as I build each part, so I'm going to build the my power reactor first so you know what's going on here okay. um, so I'm just gonna build it along the side of the ship so basically the power reactor the way you get the best out of it is you're building an imaginary box with it like so right now it's just a two-dimensional box it's just one direction right but if I add to it like this right and like this so basically what it's doing is, is it, it's creating uh, an imaginary box. If I was to, let's see if I use a material. So wh what it's doing is it's creating a box like this for it to calculate how much power to generate and everything for your ship. Um, just kind of so it can be visualized a little bit easier, I guess. I'm just putting these blocks in like this. Oh, too far. Ah, uh, let's see here. Ah. <laughs> so in the game, what it does is it it generates kind of like a box like this, and that's how it determines the the power stat, like how much power it has, um, and how much per second it recharges. So you in your build mode, you'll see. I guess on the left hand side, there'll be kind of like a reading. Um, a reading which I say it's like uh it tells you like the mass and how many blocks your ship is uh, how much power it has thrust 
shields. Yeah. You, okay, yeah, cool. If you push and hold the control key, um, up will come up but kind of like a build mode on the right-hand side. There's a, like an advanced building mode there. Um, and then you know, this is where you can kind of like move the box around if you want. So if you want to move this this box with the the text in it, you can increase the text size or decrease the text size. But yeah, this control key is kind of neat. But there's like a build helper you can see on the right. I've never really played with that stuff. There's symmetry planes. Um, so that's kind of neat. And there's a light in, in here. So if you're building something and it's super dark, you can you click on that and it'll make everything light or like you brighter for you. Um, yeah, okay. But anyway, so <clears throat> so you, because I built this reactor this way, right, it's, it's generating power. And so this is kind of like... A, like a reactor um, so you have to you have to build it like that make, to make it like a box you can't make like a straight line it you can't make a straight line it's just uh you know it gets more efficient if you build it as a box right so but you could have it just a straight line you could have it like this too and um it kind of decreases like so right now my power is 1889.2 e per second so 1889 but it's, it's, oops as soon as i um, so let's go just the one line. One line, it's 1200. Uh, looks like each one, so seven. Uh, looks like it adds 150 each time, or I don't know. Anyways, yeah, like as you build it, it gets more and more powerful as you you do this with it. This is a valid design too. So something like this would be better than just a straight line, right? So I guess it just so I guess it just depends on on the design of your ship, right? Like if it's just a tiny ship, I think one line is enough. But for what I built, I built something like this um, for my ship, and that seems to generate enough power to be able to have the shields, have the cannons, have the salvage beams, and they they did get a decent rate. But I want to try and make them more powerful, so that's kind of why I want to build a new ship too. So I have an idea to make them more powerful, but I don't know if it'll work. <clears throat> um, okay, so that's that thing. Do I have any salvage beams? Yeah. And then uh, the ship core is basically where you are coming, or where you are, right? Like where your ship is. So, yeah. like that's kind of your cockpit, so to speak, I guess. A way of thinking about it. Okay, so how do I want to do this? So destroy the ships. If I right-click on it, boom, it pops me out. Okay, where's my ship? Here we go. Maybe I'll just take apart my ship. Uh, do this. Let's go into the shop. I may sell some materials here. Carved along. Uh, sell amount. 10522. Okay, that works. Uh, how about 11502? There we go. Collect. Back up to over 4 million. Okay, good. <laughs> So let's dismantle the ship here. I even have all these things on here, which I can reconnect later. Yeah, something f funny happens with Starmade. That, you know, this is why they still have to you fix stuff. Like the wireless modules. There's, uh, you know, they added in a new wireless module. In the more recent updates, to where you can you trigger it from within your ship, and then it triggers another module somewhere else that it's hooked up to so wirelessly of course yeah. um, it's neat but the thing with it as I find is it it loses its connection every once in a while so like you have to reconnect them every once in a while so they have to fix that <laughs> plus <laughs> it's a cloaker I didn't know I had that well, that's right I did have that okay so it's kind of useless the cloaker because it uses up too much power so a radar jammer is something you want to potentially invest in eventually because that helps yeah um, 
Let's just dismantle all this stuff here and start right from the frame. Oh, that's another thing I want to experiment with too is if I build another core, can I delete the original core and does it still, or does it pop me out? Well, maybe it pops me out because I'm in, in it. Yeah, so you like that. So maybe place a core and then you go into that second core and then, and then you'll remove the first one. So I when I have this configuration like this, it's only 863 power. Correct. The way I have it now. And then if I do this... Yeah. That should be more powerful. Or not more powerful, but the, now that's creating a bigger box, yeah. Now I have 1,400. Yeah. Instead of it being together, right? So that's why people have such weird looking ships. Because you got to base it on this power grid thing. Right. Uh, but you could get you more... Can't... You could get more creative with it... Um, as long as they're connected, they still count as the arms, right? So, if you want to change, the like if you wanted to create, yeah, but if you wanted to create, they like, you wanted the ship that had like, you know, power things on the sides or something, you can't really do that. Oh, I see, I see. Or well, you, or you have to have like a, you have to have a backbone of power grids, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Time. You have multiple ones, yeah. And then they all add in together, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna dismantle okay. all this stuff. Because well, I like making small ships, I don't like, like sleek ships, I don't like making big fat monstrosities. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Alright, that's so, kind of why I want to redesign stuff, is yeah. I want to kind of yeah, make I it sleek. To, if I, if I relog, this stays where it is? Yeah, it stays exactly where it is. Log out? Okay. Yeah. It'll How do I log out? Just go escape and exit or whatever. There's an exit to desktop. I don't want to exit to desktop. I, um, <laughs> I don't know if there's an actual disconnect. <laughs> disconnect. <laughs> yeah, because I want to redesign everything. Like, it's this is a cool ship to begin with, but I need... I don't like it. It's just too boxy and ugly. 